What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you hear me growl, I have Tourette syndrome and I can't control it. Hopefully it doesn't bother you that much. If you're already subscribed, you guys know I appreciate you so much. Let's get into it. All right guys, so I was streaming last night and I played with a few people that said they didn't have good armor. They didn't know how to get good armor. I said, okay, let me do something about that. This is gonna be the best, most comprehensive, easiest guide to follow to get triple hundreds, double hundreds, or high 90s. Like you can get triple hundreds very easily if you spec it the right way. But I guarantee you, this will be the best guide that you could possibly follow. The easiest guide, if you're new to this game, that you will get double to triple 100s easily without breaking a sweat. Okay, get those Umbral Engrams, they drop randomly, start stacking them up. Then these energies, the Risen, the Opulent, all those, like start stocking those up. You could do them from getting Psyops. From playing Psyops, you could get those energies every time you go, you could get one. I put out a video of how you could get two. So we're in the Helm, right? I'm gonna do this live, okay? Cause my Warlock, I really didn't spec much into it. I did a couple during Solstice, but I really didn't get too crazy into it. So. Basically, I'm going to legitimately do this live for you to see how easy it is to get triple, double 100, quadruple 100. I'm not gonna spec like everything. I'm not gonna spend waste all of your time, but I'm gonna show you, like as you see, my helmet is not really the greatest. It's good, but it's not good for what I want. The stats are too spread out, and that's not what we want. So what you're gonna wanna do is you go over to your ghost, right? And basically, you wanna put on one of these armors. Okay, so take off, you know, you can take off everything if you want, but you really only need like up to four slots, depending on what you're gonna put it on. Now guys, here's the thing. The top three and the bottom three stats are grouped. So resilience and recovery are in a group with mobility. And then strength and uh, strength, intellect, and discipline are in another group, okay? So if you spec into one with your ghost, right? I want on my Warlock build, I want recovery, discipline, and resilience. Now, if I spec recovery, that means that I got a chance of getting dis um, discipline, intellect, or strength. But if I spec discipline, that means that two out of three chances, I'm getting the other stats that I want. So I'm going to always spec in the category that I want only one stat in of the three. Okay, so like I said, if you want recovery, resilience, and discipline, then spec discipline. If you want recovery, resilience, and strength, spec strength. Now the thing about this gear is every single time, almost every single time, I can't say every single time, but as you can see, it's 63. Almost every single time, this gear drops 60s, above 60, mid, high 60s sometimes, 66. Okay, I have a bunch of energy. That wasn't what I was looking for, so I'm gonna get another one. Another one. Okay, now, <laughs> as you see, that's really high recovery and discipline. That might be good for something. That's not what I'm looking for because I still need resilience. So if you were looking for that, as you can see, that could get my recovery up and I could do that, but that's not really what I'm looking for. That's not what's gonna help me, okay? So there's other things you could see, you could try if you got high recovery and discipline like I did right there, maybe another piece of gear you could change, but I know that that's not what I wanna get, okay? So even if I throw on a resilience mod, as you can see, that's a phenomenal piece of gear. I'm not getting what I need, but I'm just showing you how easy this gear is and how good that roll is. I mean, that's 12, 30, 24. There's only two, two, and six in the other categories being wasted as stats, okay? So basically, it's that easy to get something like that. So what you wanna do is take the three that you're looking for and pretty much always spec the one category. So like I said, spec the discipline and then you should hopefully get recovery and resilience as your secondary and your third and your highest one in that one category will always be what you spec into the ghost, okay? Now, since I got that helmet and it is pretty good, but I'll see if I could switch up the chest. Look, 67, that's a banger right there. The only thing is the strength doesn't help me, but that could help you, you know what I mean? So as you see, these are all dropping above 60s. I mean, how many more do I have to do? They're all dropping above 60s. That's how easy this is, okay? Look, if that was a hunter, uh, you know, with all that mobility, that would have been nice. I would have taken that, but it's on a warlock, so don't need that. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep specking these until I run out and just show you how easy it is. I mean, what did I have? Oh, 66, that's that's actually pretty good. That's actually, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so now look at triple 90s, okay? Man, it took me, what, a matter of a few minutes? I mean, yeah, I played and I had the umbral ingram stacked up, but just play for a while and you could do that. Okay, so I have triple 90s now. What did I start with? I think like 190 and like 50 or something. And now I have triple 90s and I can easily make that 100. And then, oh, see, here you go. So I can make that 190, 95. Look at that. It's that easy. So 
you just got to do this. And you know what? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that I have the wrong mods on. I think that I was tinkering with these builds and I think that I actually have a plus five and not a plus 10. I think I have a tier one, not a tier two of this mod. Hold on, let me check because if I do, which I think I do on one of these, then this will be a double hundred with a 90 live or so. I mean, well, you guys can see how I did it live pretty much. Okay, look, bam, I knew it. I knew I had a one on here as I was messing around and I was making different builds. Yep, look at that. 200s and a 90 bam that easy took minutes guys i'm telling you now this is the fastest easiest best way the best guide the easiest guide to follow for all new lights for all new players for pro players whoever wants to use it use do this make sure you put your ornament back on because that helmet was hideous you gotta look fly when you do this but if you're new to the channel guys and this helped you or you enjoyed it please click the subscribe button hit the bell notification you don't miss out on upload and it really helps me guys i appreciate it if you do it if later on you want to unsubscribe because you think my content sucks by all means unsubscribe and put in the comments that my content sucks i will completely understand that and that's fine for you to do i'm completely fine with it also guys last thing before i go if you didn't play early enough so you can't do that risen energy at the war table the new one right there has gear and then if you come over here also from last Last season the haunted stuff is still here so you could do that here as well it'll just take different energy so you just got to go and earn the different energy go to leviathan you could earn this stuff too it's that simple you could do it at three different places if you've been uh grinding uh the crash new event you could do it at the new one like you could do this anywhere so any one of these three guys do it take care of it uh, I've been streaming on Twitch lately. If you guys want help, duality, wish or whatever you want, come tune in. I'm going live again tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern if you guys want to come hang out. I hope you enjoy this. I hope this helped you guys out. Click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe.